going on guys welcome to k5 automotive group today i'm gonna be working on my project car man um i gotta drop my gas tank because i'm getting a lot of it has a lot of rust inside so i seen some little methods and um on youtube on how to clean out rust so i'm gonna try it on um i'm gonna try to uh use um <laughs> it might sound weird man but it's like a toilet bowl cleaner. It's supposed to uh, remove rust. So I'm going to try it on this gas tank and um, let it sit overnight for like 24 hours. And then clean it up. Hopefully it does the trick because a brand new gas tank is about, I think almost like it's like nine or $800 around that range. For a brand new gas tank for 1984, um, 633. So, um, instead of spending 800, 900 dollars on a gas tank, I may have to spend it. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna try this before I go all out and go get another gas tank. It's a very important part to a fuel system, so um, you have to change it. You know, <laughs> like. You don't want to contaminate your new fuel that you're putting in. And you don't want to damage your air injectors and mess up your whole fuel system with rust and metal flakes all floating around. So today I'm going to try to knock that out. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, Memorial Day. I woke up extra early today. <laughs> you know, just to knock this thing out, man. Because, um... Try to knock it out early so I can go hang out with my family, you know. But, yeah, man, um, stay tuned and let's just go on this adventure and see how it works out, man. All right. All right, man, to, show, to give you guys a better idea of what I'm talking about with the rust, I'm going to put a flashlight in the gas tank. Let you guys check it out. See all that rust inside. Yeah. So the gas tank isn't that bad to get to. It's right here. Not bad at all. It even has a drain right there. That's cool. No walls in this thing. All right, guys. So I had to drop the exhaust a little bit. Take the um the little hangers off off the back I did the front right now I gotta remove these um mountain bolts for the gas tank you see any on this I got one bolt over here oh man that's it yes. oh yes one right here usually right there's there. three on yeah I think tank. it's one more right, right there Ooh. And it's one more right here. So, a lot of wasps and things for me. Oh, hell. Dirty ass tank. Why oh, is that PB Buster? Shit. <laughs> Damn. You got a B nest up there. I know, I took some of right? that. I know, right? <laughs> more like a wasp. Yeah, wasp nest. Another one right here, too. All right, guys, we're going to get back to work, man. Give you an update later. All right, guys, we pulled out the tank. Accidentally destroyed some lines right here. Looks like some vapor lines. That's how it looks on me here.
the secondary pump right there. Well, actually, the main pump is right here. It's the wiring harness. Yep. So now we're gonna try to clean out this tank. See how far we get with that. I don't remember if I explained it, but the wiring harness is down here. So now I can just trace the wires from right here. You know, and then it runs into the car through that little hole right there. So I guess I don't have to pull up the interior to trace the wires. I can just chase it from the bottom. Maybe follow it into the dashboard, but yeah, man. That's what we're doing, man. Alright, guys, we're back, man. So, I already started um, removing some of the rust flakes with the shot back. And um, I think I got it pretty decent. Let me give y'all a look inside, man. If you can see anything. Yeah, it's somewhat decent than before, but I don't know. My buddy was telling me about this product that's out. Um, Eastwood. Uh, what's it called? Eastwood. Eastwood Company has a fuel tank kit. Yep, Eastwood Company has a fuel tank kit that I'm gonna try later on. But um, for right now I'm gonna try this little method I seen on um YouTube. It's um stuff they had at the dollar store. Lime away. Supposed to remove uh rust and stuff, so I'm gonna fill up the gas tank with all this stuff, man, and let it sit. And hopefully it works. If it don't, either way, I'm gonna have to clean it again with this uh this Eastwood product that they got up. Alright. I'm glad it came out so easy though. I thought it said it had gel in it, thick gel. I was expecting it to be like a little harder. Yeah, I imagine it would say gel. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things like you see the that, that person like, where's all my cleaning products? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, luckily it was from the dollar store. Shit, Walmart or whatever. It should have been, would have been like five dollars a uh, a bottle. Damn. Sorry guys, I basically filled it up with all these cans and stuff. All these um bottles of cleaning product. So I'm gonna let it sit for about 24 hours. Wish me luck. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, I just have to buy another tank. But I'm gonna see if this method work. But all right, guys, this, that's it for today's video, man. Um, I'll give you guys an update on the tank uh, later on. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And um.